Yo, what is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Leave a like and this video, subscribe if you are new. And I have quite a bit of news for you guys. So make sure you guys, again, hit that like button for more Dragon Ball, Sparking Zero, and Daima content. Because, guys, as you can see here, we have this post by Slow Plays and all the reputable sources saying that Dragon Ball Daima is going to be released on, on October 11th, which is literally the release date of Sparking Zero. Now, I wanted to really, really bring bring this to attention and bring the, bring the hype around this because this really shows how they're trying to, like, join the worlds together of gaming and anime. They want the two to be cohesive. And I really like this because, one, for Daima, we've been waiting to hear when this release date is going to be for a while. Um, you see that a lot of people are posting about it and everything like that. But this dropping the same day is just so massive for the Dragon Ball fan base. Do you guys know how big this is going to be? And I really think this is going to make Dragon Ball a contender for Game of the Year because you have, like, the anime and the game dropping at the same time, which I don't even think... Have we had an instance where Dragon Ball has got this much content this close? Like, I, I don't really know if that's been a case. Like, this is literally one of the biggest Dragon Ball releases that we've ever had. On like just on on a weekend like that that whole week of October is gonna be crazy, all right, crazy. I just really wanted to bring this to attention and like kind of talk about it in the comments. Like, how are you guys enjoying the hype around this? What do you guys think about them releasing both of these games at the same time? And what do you guys think this is gonna be, or what do you guys think this means for the ser for the whole series of Dragon Ball uh, as a franchise? And what do you guys mean? What do you guys think this means for Daima? Could we get a Daima DLC as as soon as? By the end of Christmas? Like, like, are they really pushing this much content out this year? It's been a lot. It's been a lot. Now, this wasn't the only thing I wanted to discuss. I also wanted to go back and go through, because I miss I miss, I miss a lot, guys. I've been working, and, you know, I got real-life stuff going on and stuff like that. So, I kind of wanted to highlight some of the things that they went through with the Sparking Zero um, gameplay footage and all that good stuff. So, they've showcased Boo, of course. All that good stuff. You've probably seen him in gameplay showcases and th things like that. But I wanted to kind of showcase uh, Boo here in the skills, you know, from the official Dragon Ball uh, page. Showcasing his one of his moves. But it's actually one of my favorite moves that he, like, took from um, Gotenks. The Kamikaze attack right there. And I think I think that the de potential to detail is what we're uh, really looking for. We have the burst rush here with Ultimate Gohan. Uh, there's two versions of this going out. Um, and I think this is, like, the second one. But this looks wicked. The camera angles, I'm really, for me, I'm really wanting to stop and think like stuff like this. Are we gonna be able to recreate this stuff in custom battle? Like, is, are these some of the things that we're gonna be able to recreate? Because like creating your own custom cu camera camera angles like this, like, as a cinematographer, that would go crazy. That would go insane. We have the Cell Games Arena right here. It's giving me all the view of it. This is probably one of the most meta maps I believe in Budokai Tenkaichi. There's little rocks. There's little terrain to move through. It's kind of open, um, especially when you have that two-parter when there's like the cell game is blown up and all that good stuff. So I really like that they're highlighting this. And I'm not really seeing all the maps that are portrayed, but there seems to be quite a bit. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a lot, but it seems to be quite a bit because they're only like kind of showing a few. You have Zarbon, Elegant Blaster. This is one of my favorite moves. They actually like made it look very OP. Like look at that. That's a sick move. That's a sick move. And it's actually one of my favorite moves because of the hand when he puts his hand all uh, over his arm. It's kind of very cool. It's, it's super cool. Like it's one of my favorite things that I had liked uh, when watching um, Dragon Ball. I used to copy that move all the time. And then lastly, we have this was posted uh, not too long ago. We have Captain Genyu body change. People were saying like I saw a slow post of this uh, get a DLC early and all that good stuff. Um, this is actually a pretty cool move. I'm not sure what happens when you do it. I'm pretty sure that your skills can't be used. Like, I think that's a, what a lot of Dragon Ball games uh, do nowadays. But, yeah, I just kind of wanted to go over a few things with Sparky Zero and the release of Daima coming out October 11th. Guys, are you guys excited about Daima? Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited about Daima. I'm thinking about doing a watch party for Daima. I tried to do one with Super, but it didn't really work out too well. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to you know, build the community up a little bit. But on the Range Brothers channel, we want to do a watch party with Daima. And I really want to... Know if you guys are interested in that. So, like, we can, like, play Sparking Zero all day and then do a Daima watch party or something like that. 
That's really all I had for you guys today. That's a quick news update on Sparky Zero and Dymo. What's really going on? Just some you stay up to just some to make sure we stayed up to date on everything. Again, again, keeping these in raw format. So you guys giving you guys the actual, you know, news as it's coming out. Wow, look, look, look at this trailer, man. Look at this trailer. Just, just gotta stop and watch the greatness. The greatness that we're about to partake. Guys, I've also been doing a uh Sparky Zero countdown on my uh page here. Let me go ahead and take you guys to it. Um, here we go. I've been doing a Sparky Zero content. It's been doing uh pretty well, pretty well. 1K uh, likes on one of them, all that good stuff. Uh, we got the Sparky Zero uh, community, who uh, was, was created by Makai uh, Saiyan. Um, make sure I go, you know, check him out, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm doing the countdown, so every day I'm counting down, all that good stuff. It's a lot of people in this community. Get in this community. Find the matches when we get in here. I'm, it's probably gonna be the main place I go. If I'm like, hey, who wants to fight? It's probably the main place I go is Twitter. So make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter as well. Leave a like on Twitter, subscribe if you're new, and we can get some more Dragon Ball Sparky Zero content. Peace.